Hey GW, I miss you guys so much. I miss spending my days with you. But you know one thing I miss so much is our read aloud every day. I have so much fun during it. So I figured why not bring the read aloud to you guys? Unfortunately, I only have one kid's book in my apartment, but luckily I was able to download an app onto my iPad from the New York Public Library and download some kids' books. So we'll have so many read-alouds we can do together. Today I'm going to read a book called Animalia. It is about different animals, but something that's so interesting in this book is the author, Graham Bass, uses something called alliteration. He uses alliteration. Alliteration is when the sentences all start with the same letter. You're going to notice that in the book, and I wonder if after we read this book, you can think of a sentence that has alliteration in it and have your parents send it to me. Okay. An armored armadillo avoiding an angry alligator. Beautiful blue butterflies basking by a babbling brook. Crafty crimson cats carefully catching crusty crawfish. So silly. I noticed that a little alliteration. Crafty crimson cats. Ooh, they all start with k. Diabolical dragons daintily devouring delicious delicacies. Ooh, delicious delicacies. That must be all that yummy food that dragon is eating right now. Eight enormous elephants expertly eating Easter eggs. Oh, that is so silly. Look at that picture of those elephants. Four fat frogs fishing for frightened fish. My goodness, this alliteration is so cool. I noticed four fat frogs fishing for frightened fish. Ooh, this is one of Miss Welch's favorites in the book. What animal do you think it might be if it starts with the sound g g g? Gorilla. Great green gorillas growing grapes in a gorgeous glass greenhouse. Horrible hairy hogs hurrying homeward on heavily harnessed horses. I love this one too. It's about iguanas. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, so all the words, because it's an alliteration book, are going to start with eh. Ingenious iguanas improving an intricate impromptu on impossibly impractical instruments. Look at those silly iguanas. They are trying to make music right now on the water. Oh my goodness, that is so silly. Jovial jackals juggling jugs of jelly in the jungle. Kid kookaburra and Kelly kangaroo kidnapping kitty koala. Not my koala. You know Miss Welch loves her koalas. I hope they don't get kidnapped. Lazy lions lounging in the local library. That's another favorite of Miss Welch's because you know she loves books and she loves the library. Meticulous mice monitoring mysterious mathematical messages. If you're meticulous, it means you're being a perfect. Perfectionist, so you're making sure everything is perfect. Nine nautical newts navigating near Norway. The newts are like little frogs. Proud peacocks preening perfect plumage. Quivering quails queuing quietly for quills. So look at those birds, they're looking for their quills. Richie robbed rhinoceros riding rickety red rickshaws. So look at those rhinoceroses, they're on little rickshaws, which is kind of like a thing pulled by a bike. Sliding silently southward, 
Six slithering snakes sliding silently southward. Ooh, that one's a little bit scary. That's all she's kind of scared of snakes. Two tigers taking the 1020 train to Timbuktu. Imagine if you were getting on the subway and you saw two tigers all dressed up getting on. That would be so silly. Oh, and I know some of our friends in this class are going to love this one, just like Miss Farrell, I bet would. Unruly unicorns appending urns of ultramarine umbrellas. I know we have some unicorn lovers in our class. Victor V. Vulture, the Vadaville ventriloquist, versatile, virtuoso, of a sustrous verbosity. Oh, that is a mouthful! Vexticily vocalizing at the Valeria Variety Venue. Are they trying to trick up Miss Wilds? Those are too many words put together, and this alliteration can be tricky, tricky with all those sounds. Wicked warrior wasp wildly waving warlike weapons. Oh my goodness, look at those wasps. They throw little stingers out. They could hurt you. Now, this one's silly. I want you to think how many words do you know that start with the X sound? X, X, X. I can't think of many. So let's see what they did. They just reversed the words. So when Miss Welch looks at it, it says Xer, Socks, Sick, Kiss, Cass. But if we read it this way on the camera, it says Rex, Fox, Fix, Six, Sacks. Oh, that's so silly. Youthful yaks yodeling in yellow yachts. I bet you guys can all make some good yodeling noises. Don't drive your parents too crazy with them. Don't make too many yodeling noises. Zany zebras zigzagging in zig zippelinis. So they're up in the sky. Oh my goodness. I love this book because there are so many animals in it. And it's so silly. And it is fun to say some alliteration sentences. So right now, what I want you to do, or if you get a chance tomorrow, have your parents text me a sentence or have yourself write a sentence of an alliteration. So we know alliteration is when something has the same sound. So angry ants, crazy cats, dangerous dogs. I want you to write an alliteration sentence or a couple words and have your parents text me a picture of it. And one second, I have one friend who wanted to say hi to everybody. Archie wanted to say hello. He says, my mom, Miss Welch, misses you guys. But he's so excited to hear about your crazy sentences that you're going to send me. Bye, guys. I love you all so much and miss you.